Hey friends, welcome to Whiskey and Wit. I'm Whitney, and today's video is another round of my favorite Dollar Tree DIYs just in time for fall, so stay tuned. Absolutely loved our DIY box challenge, which had a ton of fall DIYs in them, so I will link that down below and up in the iCards if you missed it, but I was like, I am ready to just keep trucking with the fall DIYs, so let's get into it. Let's start with this really cute red truck pumpkin crate that is functional and I love how it looks with these super cute velvet pumpkins from Dollar Tree as well. The two main things you'll need for this project are two of these Farm Fresh pumpkin yard stakes and some paint sticks. So I first started by separating my signs. You just use a little bit of force, they pop off really easily. And then I measured how many paint sticks I was going to need for my box. I decided on seven across the bottom and four for each side. Then I went outside and used my brand new miter box tool. Thank you, Shannon at The Daily DIYer for recommending this. And I was easily able to cut apart all of my paint sticks so that they were all flat. I got rid of the little groove at the top. Then once I cut them all, I went through and sanded the edges because they were a little rough. And then I stained them all with my favorite dark walnut minwax wood stain. And then after those were dry, I also stained some popsicle sticks, some tumbling tower blocks, and a long dowel rod. So I used one 12 inch dowel rod. I also used 12 tumbling tower blocks and six large popsicle sticks from the Dollar Tree. They're all stained with the same stain. Then it was time to assemble my box. So I started with the two sides that had four paint sticks and I used my large popsicle sticks on an angle to hook them all together. If you wanna use more sticks than I did, you absolutely can. I would suggest probably using two. I went back and reinforced it later. And then I did my bottom with three popsicle sticks kind of staggered so that it held the whole piece together just with some hot glue. Then I went through and added these tumbling tower blocks, two to each of the four sides of the bottom. And these are really helpful because you're going to put glue on the sides to have them stick. This is how I assemble my box. So I added hot glue to the other sides of my little Jenga pieces and glued the sides on. Then to reinforce, I put some additional pieces on the sides so that I had four pieces to put glue on, again, to hook the truck piece to the box. So basically any side that comes in contact with any other side has a tumbling tower block piece. So then that way it is solid. Then I took my dowel rod, marked off where it needed to be cut, grabbed my miter box again, just cut that piece down. This thing is so much quicker than getting out the big old saw. This thing is so much quicker than our big old saw. And then I just added some hot glue and glued the little handle on. And once it was dry, you can pick it up with that. I wouldn't suggest like carrying things with it, but you can definitely pick it up from that piece. Then I just added some greenery and these Dollar Tree pumpkins to finish off the display. And I think it turned out so cute. You guys know how I feel about the red truck. Once I saw those signs, I had to grab them because I knew a DIY was in the making. If you can't find those specific signs, Dollar Tree also currently has some larger red or blue truck signs. So you could absolutely do the same thing. Just add a few more paint sticks and call it a day. Up next are these super fun Buffalo check little pumpkins. And these honestly were so easy to make, even for all of you folks that want to paint bubble check, but you are timid, this is an easy way to get started. So these are made out of these foam dice. I used two packs for four total pumpkins and I started by painting them three coats of white Waverly chalk paint. I think the chalk paint stuck better than the acrylic paint, but if you only have acrylic paint, you could probably make it work. Then I used a fancier brush that I got from Michaels to allow myself to paint straight lines. And I did three horizontal and three vertical stripes and wrapped them all the way around each pumpkin. 
Now I decided to do orange and gray, but you could also do gray with black squares. But basically you're gonna want a lighter color and a darker color. So then that way your lighter color is your lines and your darker color is your little check squares. So once you go through and paint all the lines like I'm doing here, then we'll go back through and where everything overlaps, you're going to use the darker color to draw out the boxes. And that's what gives you the buffalo check like I'm doing here. So just a little bit darker of a color. I went through with a smaller brush and honestly, I'm not a really good freehand painter and I was able to paint these boxes pretty well. Once those were drying, I took some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon and I cut out some little leaves so that I could put those on the top of my pumpkin. I cut out two for each pumpkin, so eight total. Then I took my scissors, popped a little hole in the top, added a piece of mulch just from outside I attached the leaves and then I also added just a teeny bit of jute twine around the top to finish off the look so it looked like the little vines. And these were super easy to make. I really like the set of four. You could make as many or as little as you want, but I really like how this goes with the overall color scheme and the buffalo check that I like for my decor. And finally, I am obsessed with making these boxes out of these hooray signs. You guys know if you've been around, you've seen me do them in other videos, but I knew I had to do one for fall because that was where I originally got the idea. So for this, I did three of these hooray signs. You could use any square sign that has a inside that is hollow. So to remove the canvas, it's super easy. I just took a screwdriver. You can use whatever will kind of pop under the lip pop up the staples and then i just took some pliers and popped them out the goal here is to get that canvas off so you can pull out the inside because that is the good stuff so then once i had all three out i took this khaki apple barrel paint and gave everything two coats that gave it a really nice neutral wood base tone once that was done, I took some nutmeg brown paint and put it on a Dollar Tree bristle brush, got rid of a lot of the excess and dry brushed it around the outside. That made it look more like a wood box versus that like chipboard that it's actually made out of. Once that was all dry, it was time to assemble. So I just took some hot glue around the outside and stacked the three pieces up. Now in this process, you could also add a bottom to the box. I decided not to, but you could do that with popsicle sticks or some poster board, really whatever you have on hand. And then I cut out a stencil from my Cricut and some cardstock so that I could just go across the top and dab it. You could also do something like this with a Dollar Tree sticker, or you could get some stencils at your local craft store. My final two steps were to hot glue on the handles and then also add some greenery. I did two pieces of lamb's ear from Walmart. The two pieces come in one set. And then I added a ton of white pumpkins that I have from Dollar Tree. These are the ones that have the clips on the back. So the ones with the clips, I went ahead and put them on the leaves so they kind of filled out that area as well. But then the rest I kind of tossed in the center and I love this. You guys know how I am about having personalized pieces. So the property of Sebastian's Orchard is such a fun tie. I did Mr. Finn's Lemon Farm earlier in the summer and I got a kick out of that, so I decided to keep it going. As always, let me know down in the comments your favorite DIY from this video. Also, be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss a future Whiskey & Whip video, including my whole house decor tour. I'm excited to share that this year. I didn't share it last year, not sure why, but I must not have gotten that video up in time, so we're gonna share it all this year, so hit that button so you don't miss it. Also, be sure to hit the little bell so it notifies you when I post a video so you can come check it out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!